I completely fell in love with the Azores. The thing is, I had never really even heard of it, and I feel bad because I travel a lot, and it's kind of like a hidden secret off the coast of Europe in the Atlantic Ocean. We landed, it was extremely easy to get in, got to our hotel, and immediately you just fall into this serenity of the islands. We have a beautiful ocean, we have beautiful lakes situated inside craters, so our volcanic activity on the past helped to give us mountains, uh, waterfalls, water that is from the rain collected on those mountains. It's the natural conditions of our volcanic uh, geography that allows us to have so much fun. While we've been on San Miguel, the coolest group of guys were showing us around from the Azor Adventure Islands. And they take people on tours around the islands from stand-up paddling to canyoning and mountain biking and all the activities you can do here. We have the kayaking on the lakes, on the ocean. We have hikes, we have rock climbing. Stand-up paddling is one of the ones that is growing a lot the past years. Biking, all mountain biking, downhilling. So everything a bit more active and some more extremes than other. But we provide these kind of activities for our travelers. So our visit to Furnace Lake was very cool because I've never paddled in a crater. Basically, it's a volcano that had exploded and it filled with water. And not only from rainwater, but it's fed by a natural spring. Furnish means cave. Furnish so means little, cave. little caves. Okay. This lake um, is one of the main lakes of, of San Miguel, so one of the three lakes we have. And the environment around them and the housing, especially the, the church there, that's a unique sample of it on the island uh, from the 18th century, makes it different. Also, on that side, you have the fumaroles uh, and all the, the steam coming off the ground that also gives it a special touch. One thing that was really surprising to me was the multitude and variety of plant life and trees. And it's just so green. There seems to be plants from all over the world. Uh, there, most of them were introduced from many places of the world when the boats were traveling from one side to the other of the Atlantic. And we have flowers with different colors, different blooming seasons. So we usually have flowers all year round. They just take, take turns. What is that church? Why is it here? Yes, that's the unique sample we have of a gothic style church put up back in the 18th century. It was um, a person, a man that was from San Miguel but was living abroad in UK, London. Uh, and he decided to put up uh, a chapel so that when he died could be buried there. Not too far underneath the surface, I mean, we're on a volcanic island chain, there's a lot of volcanic activity. So nearby to the lake is where they cook a traditional meal in the ground. Now, do you add a heating element or it's all natural from the ground? All natural. It's the only volcanic activity we have is the steam coming off the ground and some water, of course, inside the soil. The meat and the things that take more time to, to, to be cooked are in the bottom of the, the pots and then on the top the vegetables and the lighter things to, to cook, that cook faster. Are they wrapped in something? No, they're right inside the pan itself, the pot, and they are opened so that the steam goes around in them and has no water. So they're put in dried and so all the water is from the vegetables and from the meat and from the steam itself. After our meal and furnace, uh, we went and checked out a local spring where people go to take some mineral water out of these fountains. Um, this particular one is cold. Uh, a lot of the ones in the area are very, very hot. So I've had mineral water before, and this takes it to the next level. You can really taste like the iron in it. <laughs> I love the fact that it's just so calm, peaceful, tranquil. There's not a million people around. Yeah, it's a great place to visit and travel to, but it's not a place where there's too many tourists. There's not too many people here, so you can go and relax and, and paddle on these lakes without boats going around you and people wakeboarding, and it's, it's very quiet and tranquil, and that's what I look for when I go on vacation.